In the book, you also talk about the importance of kind of unlearning and then learning and then relearning. So can you explain that concept in a little bit more detail and how it can be applied in a team setting? Yeah, sure. So, I mean, it is a really important cycle, particularly in the context of all the conversation that we're having about um, lifelong learning. You know, this idea that, you know, it's absolutely critical because of the half-life of skills, better of five years really nowadays. Um, we need to be thinking about this idea of how we continually on that process of learning, unlearning and relearning. So there's three kind of parts of that process. Obviously, learning is the pretty straightforward piece. We know how to kind of learn. Um, I find one of the encouraging things of sort of the research for the book was the idea that learning isn't the 10,000 hour rule that we need to, we sometimes have the reference point for, you know, kind of what Gladwell was talking about there in Outliers was sort of a very specific, like almost an ultra competitive field with a very specific talent. You know, when we look at stuff like Josh Kaufman's like first 20 hours, you know, he talks about there's actually a way to learn most things to competency within 20 hours of deliberate practice. And we kind of break down in the book what that practice looks like. So learning is critical. And that notion of what am I making time to learn every week, every month, that discipline is really uh, absolutely business critical. You know, we think about just the individual and your career. Then we've got unlearning. And I think unlearning is really what to talk about in the context of learning, because we only create the space really to learn by making sure that we are stopping things that are no longer helpful. So often we're actually wanting to have some kind of deliberate focus on what are the habits, things that I do that are probably no longer serving the outcomes that I'm trying to achieve. What do I actually need to make a deliberate, you know, focus on, on stopping, uh, on rewiring? And I actually think the hardest part of the unlearning, relearning, learning equation, it's easy to learn something new for the first time. It, comes, it can feel uncomfortable being a beginner, but, you know, that idea of accumulating knowledge, we're familiar with it. We spent so many years in school doing it. We can pick it up again. Okay, cool. Relearning is like reviving something that we haven't used in a long time. So maybe for some of you, it might've been that you did a particular part of your marketing degree at university and it was a subject and you've never really used it in your career, but hey, you could pick it up and go with it again if you needed to next year, if it became important. Unlearning, I think, is the hardest one. And it's both having that awareness to go, okay, what is no longer working? And we are often really, you know, we feel a degree of comfort zone with habits that are hardwired. So what is it that's not working? How am I going to catch myself or stop myself from doing it? Um, and sometimes as well, it's also having the awareness that I may not be able to nominate those things. So I might need feedback from my, my suppliers, from my team to actually say, yeah, there's this thing you do that isn't all that great or we don't love or actually drives us up the wall. Um, and it would make a difference to culture to make a difference to client outcomes if you could change the way that you do that. So I think unlearning is the one that I really encourage people to think about how they bring to life. Think about how you open up those conversations, how you do that self-reflection, that 360, and then the commitment you've got to make to actually catch those things because it's yeah. going to take some time um, to wire a new habit. Yeah, yeah. Love that. And I think the the 20 hours sounds so much more attainable like that. And it's, you know, marketing things are changing. And kind of what I've loved about starting my own business versus being a CMO when I had, you know, a team of 70 plus was just getting hands on again, you know, getting hands on email tools, the software uh, that you need to learn and, and back into the grass kind of roots. Marketing has been enjoyable. I think it's also a discipline of what you learn. And there's so much content coming at us from podcasts to audio books to blogs, videos, you know, it's choosing the medium that you prefer, but being disciplined in terms of what do I need to learn and how am I going to apply what I learn into the learning and relearning space? I think the unlearning, you're right, that's the hardest part. And I don't think we've really give that much thought. But I think with COVID and the change in, you know, operating models and businesses and business models, I think now more than ever, old ways of working like in silos, old ways of going to market, slow and steady versus agile, you know, the short term sales focus versus building trust and building the brand over time. There's quite a lot we probably need to unlearn to, to make the I think space. You COVID up too, because I also think the last, you know, uh, 18, 24 months, and we were joking yeah. before we went online, maybe not for you in Perth, but for others, um, has really proven we have absolutely proven we can unlearn things uh, and some things that we thought were sacred cows and that could never be parted from. And then we've also proven to ourselves we can learn a lot of new things. The adaptations I've seen in business models and ways of engaging and hybrid work and all this sort of stuff. I and mean, we should see that as the, one of the great silver linings of all the challenge that we've had yeah. in the last two years is that we've yeah. proven to ourselves that we can actually do this unlearning yeah. and relearning and yeah. learning thing. 
Yeah, for sure. Just takes a bit of focus and dedication and not to forget that, right? Not to go back into yeah, our old ways of working. The discipline. Yeah. You've been listening to Lean Mean Marketing Teams with Ty Hayes. If you love the show, please remember to hit subscribe so that you can discover more tips and strategies to build a high-performance marketing team. And if you're feeling generous, please tell someone about the show who you think would benefit. We're on a mission to help CMOs build their dream team and enable marketers to do their best work. And we appreciate your help in spreading the word.